Hey everyone, and thank you for joining me for the third video of Docker. So today we're going to be looking over some commands. I'm going to explain them really briefly. These are ones that you need to know to pull the image from your container into your Linux virtual machine or server and then get it running so that you can access it. So this first one is just installing docker sudo apt install docker.io. This next one sudo, sudo user mod dash ag docker whatever your username is. That adds you to the docker group so that you don't have to always use sudo whenever you run a docker command. Kind of optional but I, I like to do it. This next one is how you pull an image down from the docker hub. So you'll do docker pull dr dots and whatever the repos whatever the username is then the repository name which here i have blazer docker test and then the you want to specify the tag number so especially if there's multiple tags if there's only one you can just do latest or it may tell you you need it to actually get the right tag number and then the last one this is how you actually run the image and make it turn it into a container you'll do docker run and the dash dash restart unless stopped option that means if your computer has a power blip or for some reason shuts down the container will automatically start back up unless you explicitly stop it so that that's a very useful feature the dash d option tells you to detach the container from the command line that you're the terminal that you're using so if you don't do it as soon as you close the terminal the container will shut down so that's that's an important one to, to do um, the dash p um, tells the host what port to bind to on the host machine and then what port that is associated with on the container so here in this example you can see i'm binding my container port 80 to port 8080 on my host so to access this, I would have to use port 8080 in my browser, and it, it would access it. And then, of course, I have to specify the image location, the, the username, the repository, and the tag, whatever the tag is. So we're going to open up a Linux virtual machine and look at that. So now I have the virtual machine running, as you can see here. This is Ubuntu, I think, 20. I'm going to open up a terminal window here and I've already installed docker on this virtual machine if not you would need to do the commands if I can type sudo app install docker.io I don't need to do that it's already installed on here I've already added myself to the group that type of thing so now to pull the image that I just created I'm going to run the docker command docker pull dr dotson 14 slash the repository name which was so it's important to note that it's going to request that you use all lowercase um, even if your project name is has some uppercase characters in it so I'm going to put new docker project and then I'm going to specify the tag number um, separated with the colon my tag name was 1.0 so I'm going to hit enter and it's going to start to pull that image into the virtual machine from online and it's going to take a minute okay so now you can see that we've successfully pulled that image and if you run the command docker images you'll see I have a whole bunch but the first one that I just the one that I pulled just now is the docker new project 1.0 these are all the images i have currently on the machine also so that's helpful here's the tag number for reference you could have multiple images of the same project of multiple of different tag numbers so that's that's where why tag numbers are useful because you can kind of version control your projects i'm going to clear this so now let's actually run that docker image so to do that i'm going to do docker run I'm going to specify dash D so it detaches it from this terminal. I'm going to specify dash dash restart unless stopped. If 
I reboot the virtual machine, the container will show up. It may take 30 seconds or so, but that container will restart, and that's very useful. Now I'm going to specify the port binding. So I'm going to specify the host port first. So I'm going to use AV, just for simplicity's sake. And I'm going to specify the image port number, and that's also 80. So I'm mapping port 80 on the container to port 80 on the host. And then I need to enter the actual location of this image. And if you hit the tab, you, it will often complete it for you if, if you don't have any other options. So now I'm going to hit enter, and it's running. So now, if I go to my browser, I'm going to just do local host, enter, and you will see that I now have a Blazor app running. If I need to make changes, I can make changes, push up a new image, download that image, and it's going to those changes will be there. You can automate some of this. Docker has integrations with GitHub so that if you push to your production branch, it will automatically push an image to your container or to your repository. And then you can make a script to pull it down. I know some other people in our class have done that. Um, but hopefully this will at least get your feet wet with Docker and, and get you working more efficiently and be able to deploy your product. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and there will be some resources in the comments below.